The tragic life and death of Tiali Palmer has forced the government to announce an urgent review of foster carer approvals and the state's blue card system. But there are growing calls for that review process to be taken away from state agencies and be completed externally. Jonathan Lee has the details. It was a meeting to discuss what the Child Safety Minister describes as the ultimate betrayal of trust. The murder of Tiali Palmer, allegedly at the hands of her foster father. We're very keen, obviously, to continue to work with you. Queensland Family and Child Safety Commissioner Cheryl Varden has already reviewed the foster care arrangements for the 12-year-old. Now she will examine the state's blue card and foster care system, significantly toughening criteria. Our review will be as broad as uh, we can possibly make it. The aim is to find new ways to share information between agencies, improve background checks and implement new safety standards, raising the question. Would that help the we don't know. We simply don't know. We want to make sure we have the best and strongest working with children checks, the best blue card system we can have. We so that's have that the next now? piece of work. We well, that that's now? what this six month review will go to. Have we have a strong system. The opposition would prefer an external inquiry led by a judge or child advocate, Hetty Johnson. I think that it would be a set of eyes um, that is not beholden to the government. So we can have checks and we can have policies ad nauseum, but what we need is information. In Queensland, there are 600,000 blue card holders. Over the past two years, 3,000 applicants were rejected. What the government doesn't want and can't afford is for foster carers to be driven away. It needs many more than it currently has, but fears the Tiali Palmer case will discourage others from signing up. The state's public guardian wants people to have confidence in foster families. In the last financial year, 120 community visitors made over 28,000 visits to 7,600 kids in care. We've been reviewing ourselves and reviewing ourselves. Now it will begin that process again. Jonathan Lee, 10 Eyewitness News.